the pain, the stress, the violence, the living, the coping, the giving of life for survival. In life there's vices and plenty of rivals who fight to stay alive with their business. Your life goes, you sheep are living in fences. In 2019, we had a guest come in and show us some of his artwork. We started realizing how many people in the shelter have such amazing stories, amazing talent, and a lot of times they were kind of stuck because they're out on the streets, they don't have the resources to get what they need, they're in survival mode. And so with the Art Collective, we saw them coming in, getting stable. It erased the stigma in a way for a lot of them because it showcased that they have these amazing stories and these amazing talents. And people may not see that until we put their art out there. So the Homeless Art Collective is not just for Interface Sanctuary guests. We do special art programs within our daytime programming, but the Art Collective was actually developed with anyone who is in the population without house right now. The brainchild for the Art Collective was in fact a guest at our shelter, so it was inspired by someone who is having to survive right now, but he was able to think about other people in his crisis. I saw the stigma get raised for me when I was doing art on a street corner um, while flying a sign. I mean, people just wanted to know who I was. There was no get a job, you know, you bum, you drunk, you drug addict, there was none of that. So you like paint it on here and then you can paint over it and then you can pull it off. If it's on watercolor paper, it'll be bright white. Giving people a space to be creative and explore a different way of communicating, I think it's really important. It helps make people feel like they have a voice and it's just good for your well-being. Sometimes when you lose your place, you just, you lose your entire identity. And so you don't even think to say, oh, I'm an artist, I draw, I love music. You just say, oh, I've been homeless for this amount of time. And art connects them back to the things that matter to them. Inside their home and outside of their home, it allows them to equalize, to be something other. And I love that for them because then they start thinking bigger. Art means everything. It saved my life. It has improved my life. I'm doing the lines on the hair and trying to keep it the same direction as the picture. Do this part. This is his like sweatshirt line. It's really light. When Art Fort is like being advertised, you will be in the advertisement and it will say Chris Alvarez. Okay. I want to do a portrait, a live portrait when I'm there. You never know when you look at a human face what you're going to get. You know, you could read people. Uh, stress lines and stuff like that. It's just interesting. Citizens who are in our community that have art in their background and, and like to share their craft, we'd love to have that be part of our art collective. People who are housed, who have these skills and talents and will bring them to our community to help build them and maybe open up doors for them. We are hoping that this information gets out to anyone, even if you're not using our shelter, so that you know that on a certain day every month you can come, we're going to have art materials for you and you can create, and we want to bring positive connection for our artists without homes.